Government may be one step closer to determining the new location for the general post office that has been condemned in the past and is now undergoing remediation. Public Services Union President Kimsley Ferguson says the union and other officials toured a prospective site, but nothing has been finalized yet. While there is no set timeline on when post office employees will be out of the current location, Ferguson says the union is eager to get staff out. It was likely that that was going to be the location. Um, it was said that the time frame would not be as lengthy as persons would have expected simply because of the conditions at East Street. And so we're hopeful that all the paperwork tied up with securing that particular location is expeditiously done so that the renovation works can actually begin to take place so that we can actually give people a idea of how soon they're going to be relieved from the present environment. While he says they are ready to have staff relocated as a trade unionist and a Bahamian, Ferguson says he is very concerned about the funds that were spent renovating the building on Tony Williams Darling Highway under the former administration. Whatever ramifications that would come as a result of causing the owners there to evict those persons who were there so that that building can be renovated to house the post office, what financial implications is that going to have on the Bahamian people? This thing with regards to stop, review, and cancel when administrations change must stop because the Lord rests solely on the Bahamian people.